Let's get right into the news. And good morning, Badgers. Our associate principal, Mr. Giovingo, will be out of school for a period of time. During his absence, Mrs. Sharonas will be our associate principal, taking Mr. G's role. Many of you know Mrs. Sharonas already as she teaches health, PE, and stress management courses. Attention all AP students. If you haven't done so, you need to join each of your AP class sections with a join code. Ask your teacher for information or contact Ms. Lazzaroni, the AP coordinator. Did you know this this week is Banned Books Week? Banned Books Week is an annual event celebrating the freedom to read. It spotlights current and historical attempts to censor books in, li in libraries. This week we recognize the intellectual freedom to seek and express ideas. Stop by the Badger Library or check out the Badger Library Instagram for more banned book facts. The PSAT test is open for juniors and sophomores to sign up for in the Counseling Center. This test will check your knowledge in English, math, science, reading, and writing, and give valuable feedback on areas you can improve. By taking this test, you also have the opportunity to earn a significant scholarship through the National Merit Program. The test is on October 12th and costs $18. You can sign up at the Counseling Center. Hurry though, there are only 80 spots available. On October 5th, the counselors are taking juniors and seniors to the WEF College Fair at Carthage College in Kenosha. There will be over 100 colleges and universities available to meet with you and provide you with information regarding their school. We will leave Badger at 8 a.m. and return around 11 a.m. Sign up at the Counseling Center today. Only 80 spots are available on the bus. Students, homecoming is right around the corner. Dance permission slips are now available. They are ready in the office and Miss Colt's classroom, 602. Remember that all students need a permission slip signed and turned in before they can purchase tickets. Guests from outside schools must also have a special permission slip filled out and turned in before tickets will be sold. Pick up your permission slips today. If you are in the student council or want to join, just a reminder that our second general meeting is today at 5.30 in Colt's classroom from 602. We'll be working on homecoming events and activities. See you there. Attention all students. Badger FFA's first meeting is today after school. We'll be having our cookout and cornhole tournament backed by popular demand. Meet in room 312 for this meeting. Our cookout starts at 4 p.m. Tournaments begin at 5 p.m. We hope to see you there. There is a DECA meeting from 6 to 7 in room 610. There will be games and a cookout. Juniors, are you wanting to be able to help plan and build the junior class homecoming float? If so, please attend a brief planning meeting today on Tuesday, September 27th at 3.05 at in room 605, Miss Hansen's room. We will discuss our plan and times and dates for building during homecoming week. If you have any questions, please see Mrs. Hansen in room 305 or Mrs. Noller in 705. We hope to see many people help out this year. Dig Pink 2.0 JV1 Volleyball versus Union Grove is today at 4.30 p.m. in the main gym. If you cannot attend, come buy a pink iced donut immediately after school. The proceeds will be donated to the Aurora Healthcare Foundation to support breast cancer research. Buy a yearbook today. Yearbooks are currently on sale for $70 until October 31st. Attention seniors, please make sure you are contacting your photographer about submitting your senior picture for the yearbook. Photos are due October 31st. Late pictures will not be accepted. For more information, go to the Badger website on how to order a school yearbook and submit your senior pictures. Please contact Ms. Young if you have any questions. Now please, please stand, stand for, for the, the pledge, pledge and have, have a, a great, great day, day Badgers! Badgers. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all.